Hope everybody's doing great. This is Tim. And uh, I got a lot of comments on my DSP video, the DSP 2.8X. Uh, PRV also now has a DSP 2.4X. This is a question I got a lot. How can I use a base knob on the PRV DSP? How can I control my base? Well, you can use a base knob. So I have this pack LC1, just a regular old base knob, and I have a DSP 2.4X. Let's take a look at the DSP and the base knob, and let's see how you connect them. Yes, radios have controls for bass, some of them, not all of them. Yes, you can control things with the DSP. Yes, your amplifier has a gain. But when you're really trying to control your bass, you need a bass knob. This is to be able to lower the bass if it's too much, raise it up if it's not enough for certain songs. So basically for this setup, we have a radio, a DSP, an amplifier, bass knob, and RCA cables. Let's get this bass knob out of the package. Your typical bass knob will, of course, have a knob level control and we'll have an input and an output this is where you're gonna have your signal come in from your DSP and go out to your amplifier I'm gonna hook this up real quick and come right back okay so now if you're not familiar with the DSP or how to wire it please search DSP 2.8x here on YouTube or you can check out my channel. I do have a video there explaining how to connect the DSP. But basically, you're going to go from the output on your radio to the input on the DSP. Now, each of these outputs on the DSP are programmable, as most of you may know. So you can have uh, tweeters, mids, compression drivers, and then you can have your bass. But you can really have this anywhere you want. So you've already set this to your bass. Now you need to send a signal to your amp. Usually you would go straight to your amp. But if you want to be able to control the signal going to your amp, that's where the bass knob comes in. As you can see, it leaves from the output, goes to the bass knob input, out of the bass knob output to the amplifier. You now are able to control the volume of your subwoofers with the control of this knob. You can put this on your dashboard, center console, anywhere that it's accessible. You can leave it loose on the side of your seat and just hold on to it while you're driving. That's up to you. But this is basically how you do it. It's very simple bass knob on your DSP for your bass amplifier. One more thing I'd like to add, this is not only a bass knob, as you can see they call it a remote audio level controller. This can be used for all your stuff in your doors, it can be used for your stunt wall, it can be used for just your drivers, just your mid bass, you can use this for anything that accepts an RCA signal. Any one of your amplifiers can have one of these. And this is also the reason why some people have multiple equalizers. can do another video explaining why you need equalizers in your system or why you would want them. Not necessarily need them, but why you would want them and why you would even want more than one. I got a lot of comments on my video how to connect an equalizer to a DSP. Why would you need an equalizer? The DSP already has one. If it doesn't have one, it's not a real DSP. That doesn't matter. When you're talking mids and highs competition, you want to have equalizers. And I will do another video showing you that but thanks for watching this video hope you learned something if you have any questions uh, about these products here or anything else leave in the comments so i can make you more videos and uh, subscribe to the channel thank you